Alrighty. I do that every time. Alrighty. But uh, what an interesting day, right? EUSCC, 4 0 would at uh, the LAN this morning, which is why I didn't do a video this morning. I was watching that. Um, and I'll be watching that again tomorrow. But uh, I think today, when it came to the group's play-ins, was pretty as expected. Um, I don't think there was any surprises. Maybe the Kings and Scarabs, people could say that, oh, I thought the Kings would do better, or I thought the Kings would win. But I think when it comes into a land environment where you are kind of faltering as a team, it's a lot easier for an SCC team with just here for fun to absolutely destroy you. And if you lose game one, I don't think you recover from that. Especially when the Scarabs are as good as they are. Deathwalker zeros were established, but April had a showing, uh, a quite good showing. Biggest question for the Scarab success at this land was if April can translate the online phase to land play, and he, and he has really, really well. Um, <clears throat> dominated, honestly, dominated Twig, dominated on the Mercury. I thought the Merc would be a must ban against that guy, but um, apparently not. Apparently, the Kings thought otherwise, that we can let him have Merc and we can, uh... Hang on, let me just see. So, Bologna is banned. There's a lot of Bologna, not a lot of Bologna. Just in that Scarab set, there was a bunch of Bologna played, and I thought it might might be good. In duel. Is he worth playing? I don't know what I want to play. Sun Wukong's kind of come back into meta. And Sun Wukong can be okay in, uh, in Duel as well, but I should probably have a god figured out before I queue up. I'm going to play one of my favorite pocket picks, Naja, yeah. Naja, and I'll be right back. I'm going to let the queue time die out. All right, I'm back just in time that the game starts. See that we're versing a Hachiman. Bad news for me. Uh, Hachi very strong. But we can do it. I'm sure we can do it. Um, and then I'll go Shell, I'll go here, Wing Shard again. Talked about Wing Shard Bow every time. Uh, but let's talk about today, right? First set of the day, Shababa Storm versus the Ravens. The Ravens, quick to woe. Say quick to woe. Game two, I think they had a little bit of fun, a little bit of too much fun. Uh, the Ravens being, and the Storm. Uh, capitalized, okay. I honestly, look, I know it wasn't too close in the fact that if the storm got ahead, there was no real worry about what um, the Ravens can do to come back. Like, I think Zap rolled into tower and I was like, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. The Ravens will outperform at the end. <clears throat> but uh, storm weren't too bad. You know what I mean? I think they can be kind of proud about their performance. Um, I think that they were a little way too hesitant. I need to... Uh, a bit, more, a bit more aggro at a, a lot of the time. Because that's what they're comfortable doing, you know? Second set was Scarabs versus Kings, which some would be the upset. Uh, I think both games were super draft kingdoms. I'm not gonna lie. Let me just. That. I have a bit more sustain than him. In both departments. So. But he has a lot more clear than me. That's fine. Your middle tower is under attack. I never back down from a fight. He hits five here, so I have to back because he just horses me. Although, I do have Shell. Hopefully he horse dashes and I can Shell and outplay it. But he's about to hit 5 now, so... If he wants to look for a kill, it has to be now. Because that. That's what I was talking about. He wasn't under tower, so... The prediction was right. He was just a tiny bit out of line. And he doesn't have beads. So... There is a win condition for me. And it's when I finish my Transcendence. Once again, I didn't want to back there because of... The amount of health pots I have ticking, plus he has um, not the best mana sustain. He is a Hachiman and he does have MP5 on his starter. So, 
it's not like the worst mana sustain. But it's still not a blue buff. We turn a bad situation into something that, that's manageable. Just get the smalls here. Force him into a dilemma. The dilemma being blue buff or wave. Just engage here, just for some poke. And now I can answer the wave or the blue. He's still in a dilemma here. Like he has to choose between what he does. I go back here, I poke. Yeah. I'm just gonna pick it up now. And I do wanna fight him. And what this will do, I don't kill him here, but I do get blue buff. Oh. I don't know what he was thinking. At all. I thought he would just run and give me blue, but he chose to die. I do have to respect the horse from base, so I have to back here. I can't stay around, I can't farm anything. So I will go trans into... This breastplate here. What I'm going to do this game is something that I kind of talked about in the recap, not the recap, at the LAN. Uh, get a tier 2 breastplate and then move on to my next item. Just due to not being sure if he builds crit or not. Most hunters will build a little bit of crit. And I don't necessarily want to... Get a... Um, regrowth or a breastplate. Like, I'm easy with both. I don't mind which one. I just have to play around cooldowns anyway. So my shell is up in 10, my ult is up in 20. I'm not very strong right now. Just want to stack my trans if possible. And he will go do blue. It's fine by me. You can have it. I'll do the minis. Or the health pot because I'm already taking 400. Don't stop. Poke, wave. Commit to it. Nice. Leave. Fight now, he missed his dash. Use that for movement. Use that for damage, like guaranteed damage. And then ult, hopefully I hit it. My heal's coming up, my sash is coming up. I still want to play a bit cautious. Use that. I want to stay close to him because he can't necessarily dash dummy if I stay close to him. I didn't get to stay close enough to him. Here he has horse, shell preemptively. Hopefully that hits. Gonna max my three, because if I hit the three, he actually dies here. Gonna aim it pretty far left. Nice. A little min-max on my three. If I didn't max my three and I max my ult, it's probably a bit bad. I still find this to be a heavy losing matchup, so I can't be too comfortable. And then keep that there. Go Hydra's tier two. Pretty good power spike, Hydra's tier 2 and Breastplate tier 2, with my trans coming online pretty soon. Max my uh, ring toss here. The ult damage is, it's not as consistent as my ring toss. I need my ring toss to be able to clear a wave. So. Like, I'm still not at a strong enough point. Trans will help that out. Yeah, he's about to have... XC? Is he going XC? It should be assy. I think it should be an assy here. Um, and then, what was I talking about? The Scarabs versus Kings. Um, people thought that that could be upset. I said April did really well at land to transition his online um, prowess to physical, like in person. Not the easiest thing to do. Um, but also, I, I had a feeling that the Kings either show up and dominate, or they show up and they're flat as... And we definitely saw the flat version of the Kings there, right? So I popped his assy. I definitely can't fight him when that store raids up. But I can fight him now within this wave. Hit that. It's gonna hit him for a little bit of poke. I wanna avoid the two if I can. Alright, cool. Come here. That's not up. His two is down. That's so unfortunate. Alright, I'm gonna give him red again. Maybe the last red of the game I give him. Yeah, let me back. Okay, that is just dumb for him. I don't know what he's doing. Okay. Oh, I, I don't understand people here. 
Like, you have to dive me now. Like, what, are you, what else are you doing that for? I'm so confused. I'll get those three minions, and I'll back and fight him at blue. He's kind of tilting me. Maybe that's the that's what he's going for here. Going for a beat stick. Accidentally bought a ward. It is what it is. Definitely need the anti heal online. Your middle tower is under that's fine. Just try and keep up. All right. Now my uh, sash and my ring toss are maxed. I can go for points in my alt. Need to ward the bull demon. He does have the ability to be able to do it whenever he wants. Show me who's around. Can't buy anything, unfortunately. I can, however, get a thorns. Um, <clears throat> and then the third set of the day, we will get there. Was Glad's versus Mambo. I think everyone thought Mambo would stomp, but honestly, game two showed that uh, Glad's aren't as bad as people think they are. I think they played game two really well up until the mid Phoenix weird Ishtar chase and whoever made that call um yeah I'd lose faith in them <laughs> I'd say that whoever made that call they were, at, they were at a point where they had so much pressure they warded all of the left side jungle <clears throat> and they catch the Hex Mambo ADC on a ward and they panic and they overcommit so hard to the Ishtar oh he just gets that I wish I had ult here I do have to fight him now Wait for his dash, he won't dash. He can't hit me now. Are you afraid of heights? I don't have beach sticks, so I'm actually just dead. I do have to fight this because I'm way too low to do anything. I think that is game, to be honest. There is a chance I can come back, but it's on Titan. We'll stay around. We'll stay around, but I do think that that's the game. So I need to get a Serrated in this slot and then a Deathbringer there. And I need to hit level 20. And then when I get to 20, I need to sell my Breastplate for more damage. And you just need to one-shot them. Because in, in reality, one Berserkers isn't going to stop the, uh, the one-shot combo. That was his beads, though. Don't stop now. That's it. Anytime I can proxy a wave, it's perfect. <clears throat> Get as much gold as I can this life. I don't necessarily want to back for... And miss any like money on the map because he controls the map right now. So even here, you could back. I'm gonna grab this. Come over here, make sure I get these if I can. Big auto, one, nice. Leave. Reset here. He's gonna shove that wave in. And then I can catch that wave anyway. So he has gone crit. So I'll finish my beat stick and then I'll finish this after this next wave into a spectral. This is good, my Spectral gets more value, and my um, Thorns gets more value too. Oh, bit of a frame rate issue there. He doesn't get burned, it's fine. Let's look at that. He can poke it here. And one thing I found really interesting about the group stages today was Draft Kingdoms everywhere. It's the way it always goes, doesn't it? So many Draft Kingdoms. Like, there was a point where... Who was it? 
top three was... What was it? I think it was the Glads versus Mambo. And it was the game two that I was actually just referencing. Where they actually had control of the game quite a lot. Oh, they had... You know, okay, let me just... Uh, my autos were still going off. Um, they had a decent amount of control on the game. I don't know what he's doing. I'll, I'll let him lose that trade to the bird. Ganesh was already top three by Mambo, and they picked King Arthur into a Ganesh. Which, in my mind, is awful. Wait for the dash, there's the dash. I hit him with a one here, and that'll force his horse. Bolt away. It looks a bit troll, but I should have more cooldown than him. He has no cooldown on his items, right? So. It's not too bad. Get my serrated online. Once I get serrated, I should be chilling. <clears throat> so right here, that bull demon, gone. Can't contest because I don't have ult. So that's fine. Absolutely fine. Wait, what? He didn't do bull demon. Beautiful. Nice. That gives us a, a bit of extra time, right? Get this serrated online and maybe I can contest. Don't stop now. I don't know. He's playing very, very slow. I don't know if he's worried or... I don't, yeah, I don't know what he's waiting for. Yeah, if I can just hit the wave before it gets to bird. Here's Dom already, yep. And then here I want to hit him with a combo. He beats. Dude, I got body blocked by those minions so bad. That's the game. Maybe it's not. <laughs> Let's see if a 50% HP Hachiman can tank an entire Titan for some reason. And he can. That's dual for you, folks. Honestly, if I got behind my minions, which his minions were blocking, um, he's cooked. Oh, I would have won that trade very, very easily. But the body block, unforeseen. Oh, he's GM or something.